Okay, I'm going to try and film on my phone. Um, and I wanted to show you, um, I'm calling this a Dorothy journal because of the fabric. Um, and this is the first junk journal I really completed from start to finish. And, um, and I'm, I'm inspired by so many, so many wonderful artists. Um, most recently, I've been following Gail Agostinelli's series, and most recently, her she made a Christmas journal for someone who wanted room for photos, and I, I was following that because I th thought it had a lot of relevance for me, and I, I learn a lot. From, I learned from everybody, from watching their, their, the way they work, their patience, not patience not being my strong point, but also their ingenuity and how they deal with mistakes. And I'm really, really proud of myself. Um, and so I wanted to show you this. Um, let me just take out, this is just a, a hair tie, a hair, not a hair tie, it's a, it's a ponytail holder. And um, I... I had, you know, these little beads that they use that they then iron or something or heat up. And I just had some, I had some things lying around. I have other bits of jewelry I need to take apart and I'm never going to be much of a jewelry maker who deals with things like jump rings and things like that. But this is just a safety pin, like which as you can see, and I just, um, I glued it also when I closed it. I, oh look, it's on the other side. wonder how that got there. That's odd. They used to be on the other side. But in any case, yeah, I, I glued it shut so that it wouldn't come open accidentally. Um, the um, cover um, is is a box of medicine. It's a, uh, let me see, it's this um, this nasal spray that I, I, I use for my sinuses. Um, Actually, so I have more boxes this size, but but at this point I had the box handy. It was after the move, and there are a lot of things I haven't necessarily unpacked, especially of some of the piles of crafting supplies and junk that I I've saved because someday I'm going to make a lot of journals. Um, but in any case, that's what it is, and it's good that it's small because that allowed me to practice the form, use use less materials, um, and if it didn't come out, then it was a small amount. As it is. Look how nicely they lined up. It's not bad, right? It's not bad at all. Um, the fabric is it's it's a it's a synthetic, some kind of polyester gingham. Um, uh, several years ago, my daughter wanted to make herself a a costume. She wanted to be Dorothy from Wizard of Oz, and she had done a sewing course, and she made she eventually made something, made a skirt, and and this was just uh, leftover fabric. Oops. Straighten that out. Yeah. Sorry. Um, and this little bow, one of my other daughters took a. Did she take a skirt, and make it into a dress? I think so. It was a very long skirt, and this was just a little snippet of that material. Even before I glued it down here, I used some glue because the, it wasn't sitting right. And this black piece of paper is just from a piece of, uh, from a circular that was in my mailbox. And look, look how straight it came out, guys. I'm really proud of myself. Okay, so, um, oh, but I did not originally intend to sew it. That's the thing. I've been following Gail, and this is how Gail was making that Christmas journal. And then I saw Tracy Fox do a tutorial where she sewed the signatures to fabric and then glued the fabric in, and I thought, perfect. That's what I want to do, and that's what I plan to do until I actually got to the moment, and then I took my awl, and I poked it all the way through, and I was like, what did you do? Now what? Um, so I, I decided to use the fabric. I needed to cover the inside anyway. Um, I decided to cover it additionally with some burlap that, I'll tell you, you know what this is? This is um, from a party supply store. It's from a, a, it's a table runner, and I, I'm very pleased <laughs> to use it. The problem with the burlap was once that I glued it on first to the fabric, the underneath fabric, the khaki is from a pair of one of my boys' trousers from when they were little. Um, that was, I don't know, torn or it wasn't going to a, to donation. So I used this. But once I had glued it on, it was very hard to mark the spots where I needed to poke the awl because the, the burlap didn't take the color very well. But, you know... Um, 
I was collecting colors like browns and pinks, so um, I was punching uh, flowers out, and this is just the, you know, the reverse. The paper is a combination of printer paper, not stained in any way, some magazine paper that I was trying more or less to get into a certain family of colors, and, um, and paper from a, um, from a, a paper bag from the organic vegetable store that I go to usually once a month because I'm playing there with a the band for a couple of hours. Okay, so here's that first page on printer paper. This little card is actually um, part of a business. I had covered the business cards. I had these old business cards that I covered with um, um, like scrapbooking paper and on one side and book text on the other. Nothing stained, as you can see. I'm not, I mean, distressed around the edges or anything. Um, and I made this little pocket. Yeah, I made it in the shape. I cut it out of a more um, um, scrapbook paper. And this is a magazine page. There was eight, you'll see more of this color scheme. There was a page with a lot of this color in it. This was the other side. That worked well. Um, see, these are pages where I haven't done anything. This is more from that page, that pink page. Um, this is items, but on this side, the, the, the reverse side, of it was it was a fashion magazine. And I'm not sure I like things being horizontal, but in any case, this is the way it is, at least for now. This is a fabric pocket, plus another little piece of card with another color. Um, this is glued in. No note that I also sew things in. Here's the center. This is a pocket and another bit of card. Uh, nothing on the ends yet of these. I don't know if I will do anything for in this journal or maybe not at all. Look, this isn't going to be a practical journal. Like, I'm not going to be writing very much in here. I mean, I would have to write very, very tiny, and I don't know if I'd be able to, to read it afterwards. This card, I have some fabric left over with different shapes. Some of them are tiny, some of them are larger. When I started collecting the things for this, I realized very soon that what I had in mind, like, I thought I would use these, the business cards, the full sizes of these. Then I realized, well, no, it's actually bigger than a page. Um, but anyway, so off this little fabric that I had all these designs on, and I cut out, I cut, it's not exactly fussy cutting. Most of it's sort of more or less around, but I cut some out to use as embellishments. I'm very pleased. This tuck spot, you see this? So I learned. I, it's going to take me a while to get my technique up, but I glued it right around the side. I put it down, but then it slid. The glue slid. So it, the glue sort of comes all the way up to here, and there's a very little spot, actually, for tucking it in. Not a very large spot. So I've learned I need to be careful with that. Here's a fabric flip. It's funny, my and this is another one reason I have it here is that, I mean, I don't really want to see this page very much. It's another, you know, verso side of a, yeah, it's the opposite side of this very lovely sort of dark pink um, page that I like the color of. Um, oh, yeah, so this is a, more of the same pair of pants that's on the, the inside here. And also, this. so this little thing, this woman gave me, a robe. <laughs> it was a black velvet robe. She was going to throw it away or donate it. She said, can't anyone craft with it? It's got all these pretty things on it. So I went through, there was netting sort of in the poofed out sleeves, and I just cut out these little things. Initially, I just cut out all the netting, but then I took some out and I cut out little bits to use in embellishments, because I thought I needed very small embellishments for this. This is one of the flowers I punched out of fabric of, of paper like this. It's probably actually from here, but from the opposite side. Um, that's not a bad pattern. I tried to cut out nice looking patterns. And this side I made a belly band. Yes, I'm very proud of myself. This is um, actually not a real envelope. It's, it's like a little, if it was larger, it would be a journaling spot. And this is not a double belly band. It's just got an embellished. I use some, some of the um, some of the interesting color from the magazine pa pages that I, I had cut out. And, okay. Now, this is, this is sort of, this is something Gail does. She makes these flips, a corner flip, and it's a tuck spot. This black and white image is from a book I have that I got excited about. Um, I don't know how much I'll be able to use it. I think some of the images are way too large. But it's called, I think it's something like, 
1987, the year in movies, and I've been carrying this book around with me as I move from place to place. I wanted to, because it had so many black and white images, I wanted to use some of them. And I was purposely looking for the smallest ones to use in this journal. And I was also practicing. I, I'm, I punched these out long before I made this journal, but I was looking for faces that I could, that would fit on this, I think it's a three quarter inch punch, a three quarter inch circle. So I did that. Here's a little bit of embellish. Here's another. Uh, this is the bee from that same fabric. Another flower. Another belly band. This is the more standard. Uh, it's a, you know when you have a long piece and you fold it over to make a point and then you fold it up. So you have obviously if it's more of a decent size, you have more room for journaling. Um, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with this. Here's again from the film book. I guess that's uh, is that Charles Bronson. And I was going to say Charlton Heston, except I think that's of another era. Oh, look, this is coming up. Okay, so later I might glue that down. Um, this pocket's not so bad. And I put a little bit of the fabric on here. Um, yeah, I liked this one where it's... Oh, you know what? These pages... I th were they two-page spread? Maybe. In any case, I like the blue that's behind them. Here's some more of the... Um, the background of the flower punches. Here's another here's a little butterfly. Oh, here, yeah, you see around this page? This is a failed attempt at distressing. I, 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 you sh I have seen people enough times. It's not, I don't have distressing, but even so, I've seen people, they take, they take a sponge or something else and they, they, they put it in the ink and then they go over the edges. And instead of that, I had this tiny little ink pot and I picked it up, the ink pad, and I smushed it right out. I'm like, well, obviously that's too strong, Judy, but live and learn. So after I did that, I'm like, you know, I think I'm not going to bother with that right now. This is a side pocket and another one of these uh, uh, smaller one. It's a little envelope that I made, f or envelope shape for journaling, that I made from off cuts of... Um, scrapbook paper, which I'm trying to remember what I did with the main pages. I don't remember. Um, maybe it's waiting for another project and I'll discover it soon. I don't know. I don't like this image on this page. I obviously like this, this color. I'm not yet sure what I'm going to do with this, if anything more. Um, another belly band that I, oh, and here again, you see the, the glue moves, so it comes pretty far down. This is another one of the longer ones. Um, and yeah, I've, I'm learning a lot, but what pleases me is that even though, go in there, even though this is full of mistakes and first time learnings, it didn't come out too badly. Here is, okay, so yeah, this was something that was decorative painted paper of some kind, I don't even remember from where, a little card with a little insect, fabric insect on it. This is just embellishment, that's all. I was trying to cover over the writing, and so I put that on there. It's not even the same green. Oh well, live and learn. I mean, I didn't even notice they were both greens. Um, this is a tuck spot. I put some fibers here. That was interesting for me trying to glue that down. The, the more I pressed it, the more it came up on my finger. This was a flower that I think I didn't like the center of, so I glued something in the center of it. Um, I like this color. I'm not sure how I feel about the writing, but I don't know. It's a junk journal. You can't be a purist. Here are the centers, and again, nothing on the ends. Think about that. Look, I put a button in there. Here's a little bit of the burlap. Is this a pocket or a duck? It's a pocket. Yeah, that doesn't look so bad. You know, it occurs to me that I might... Where did I have that green? I might switch this out. I might put something else in there that's not green. Um, I think earlier I had, did I have something pink? Something red. Yeah. I think I'm going to do that because I really don't, yeah. Actually, this isn't a green. It's more of a beige, but oh. Look at this. This also has a lot of glue in here, which is annoying. That's okay. Okay, we'll do that. Ah, now you see the red and the pink. To, oh, well, it doesn't matter. There's a limit to how much you can fuss. Um, 
I didn't like the way the green and that uh, olive beige looked. Uh, looked. Um, okay, I like this. This is a bag. Ah, this is from a bag. We'll see the bag in a moment. I see I made a belly band here. And one of these fold-out things. It's really not bad. I, I kind of like the color combinations. Color is not my strong point. I mean, it's like, I sort of like things when I see them, but I don't always know what I'm doing. Um, more of this. I was really trying to get a lot of this color in. Oh, these are... I apologize. I mean, well, I don't apologize. It's my journal. But, um... Well, this is cute. This is like a little gold clip. I'll tell you what this is. This is scrap paper. This has not been embellished or anything. It's it's an old list. I, I It's not decorated in any way. I said, no, I want to use it. I have strips of paper. I'm going to use it. So here it is. I'm using it. Um, I mean, I got my wish. And um, like I said, we'll see what I do with this. Um, it's nice to have something this finished. I don't know if I can explain it just really feels nice to have something this finished. Here is a more successful belly band and envelope. That was the end of the second signature. And here is what the bag was cut from. It uh, And here here is not a full size of the business cards. I had to cut them down some from the top. They were longer. But, um, but for the width, I was able to keep them the same. And I stuck it in here to be like a pocket. And I'm very pleased with having this in the signature. Oh yeah, here is here I use some of the the paper from the um, the paper bag to make a pocket. This is nice, actually, this one. And then there's this cut out flower and glued on a little bit of stuff here. And here's another one of these <laughs> very scrappy things that I made. Um, oh, and here's another belly band. Oh, I made, made a bunch of things. It's nice. I haven't done a ton of stamping and or embellishing. Here's an embellishment. Here's a flower. Um, I'm learning. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm learning and I'm managing my own patience level. Here's another one. It's interesting to me when I watch Gail Augustinelli, like before she even starts a journal, she saves up so much material that's relevant to it that she's going to use in different ways. And some of those things I don't want to use. Okay, I'll, I'll be honest. But other things, I just, I'm not there yet in terms of understanding the variety and where I could get things. But this was a very good first experiment for me. This, is, this pocket worked well. Look how deep that goes. And uh, here I finally did some stamping. I actually do more stamping in the in the other pages, but I here's another one of those pieces, and it's Catherine Hepburn. Yes, and here's another pocket with the uh, the burlap from the runner and the the craft paper from the paper bag, or this one here. I tried to scribble around the edges eh, with some success. Here I got some glue on it, and it pulled up some of the color off of the other page. Here's another little stamp, a stamp and another little insect, and here's the other side of that bag serving as a pocket and another cut down and covered business card to use as a card. Some more stamping and gluing, and you can see that the stamping, this is just copier paper, stamping from the other side shows through. So, yeah, live and learn. Um, this, guys, is my Dorothy journal. I'm very, very pleased with it. I'm, I'm, it, it's energizing when something works. You know, you ever have that? Where you, you've been putting off trying something and you actually work all the way through it and finish it. And uh, so, let's see, this goes like this. I think so. I'll put this in here. And um, it's a very impractical project. But I have to say... I'm really quite thrilled with it, and um, yeah, so wish me luck on doing some other things. I'm starting now to gather materials to make a larger, a larger journal of, in a, that will be very different, and I hope that having gone through this process um, helps me continue to expand my vocabulary and my skills in what it is, how, how many different kinds of materials I need to gather. 
and how much work it is to make something look really nice, which these many, many YouTubers do beautifully. Um, I'm always going to make kind of scrappy stuff, kind of rough edge stuff, but, um, but still, this makes me very happy. Thank you.